Thursday. Yes. Good morning and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Tuesday yesterday. Today is Wednesday, um, March 30th, 2022, and it is a day four. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. Today, I have with us, we've got uh, two uh, kids that you haven't seen recently, but we've got Levi. You want to wave and say hi? Hi. And Levi, what uh, what grade are you in? You want to remind everybody? First. You're in first grade, and <coughs> and which school do you go to? John Beck. John Beck. And Audrey, what? How old are you? Three. And what school do you go to? Preschool. Preschool. All right. So we're going to practice being present at this moment. Now we're going to use our eyes and our ears and our nose and our skin to start with. And then we're going to go into our breathing. Okay? No. So let's go. Yeah? No? You're, you're last and I'm in the middle. Yeah. Okay? So let's use our eyes and just look around our room and find something interesting to look at. Something that catches your eyes. And just look at it, study it. Remember that we do this every day. Figure out how far away it is from you. Find that thing. Figure out what color it is, the shapes, you know, all those things. Levi, what are you looking at? The fan out there. Oh, yeah, the fan. Audrey, what are you looking at? The chair. The chair. All right. I'm actually looking at the reflection of the sun on the, on the wall. Is that pretty cool? All right. The dots. The dots, yes. Using your nose now, just breathe in and out. What, do, what are you picking up with your sense of smell? And what does it remind you of? I, I smell like the drift, uh, a drift of cookies. A cookies? Okay. From downstairs. Yeah. What do you smell, Audrey? The air. The air. Okay. Now, with your ears, just everyone be quiet and simply listen. What sounds do you hear? I feel, I hear footsteps downstairs. Footsteps downstairs. What do you hear? Mm. You know? Okay. I heard a car outside. I don't know if you guys heard that. And last but not least, with your skin. What do you feel brushing against your skin? Whether it's your clothing or the air or even just the temperature. Are you noticing the temperature of the air? That's footsteps. Yeah. I can feel my clothes. Feel your clothes. Very good. I can feel my clothes. Your clothes too. Okay. All right. Now let's go on and we're going to do the breathing part of our exercise. Uh, we've already decided what uh, each of the kids want to. Now this is a classic example, boys and girls, where you can choose any breathing technique that you have learned. Some that we've taught, some that our friends in kindergarten, first and second grade at Fort Zeller have taught, or even a breathing technique that you hope to teach somebody else and you're working on. Now, Levi, what are you going to use today? Hot cocoa. The hot cocoa. Do you want to just show us what you do when you breathe in with your nose? And what do you do with when you breathe out? And you close your eyes. Well, you can. You don't have to, but you can. Audrey, what are you going to do? What is that called? Rainbow the breathing. Rainbow breathing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the starfish breathing. I really haven't done that in a while. And you know, kids, you guys all know it's one of my favorite. Okay? So let's go ahead and get our body settled. Notice the couch holding you up. Get yourself comfortable. Okay? You don't want to be too slouch. You just want to be comfortable. Are you comfortable, guys? All right. You can close your eyes if you want, but you don't have to. But go ahead. Let's go ahead and begin with our breathing technique. Breathe in. And breathe out. Allow yourself to settle into your couch. Breathe in again. And slowly let it out through your mouth. Let your body settle into the couch again. Breathe in once again. And boys and girls, make sure, check your brain. Are you thinking about breathing? And Breathe out. Is your brain thinking about what is around you right now? And go ahead and breathe in again through your nose. Great job, guys. And as you breathe out, think and scan through your body. What other parts of your body are you thinking of? Go ahead and breathe out. Breathe in again. 
Notice that part of your body, wherever it is, and breathe out. Say hello to your body. Breathe in. Notice how it feels. Breathe out. And also, guys, think about what feelings you brought to school today. Breathe in. Are they pleasant feelings? Are they, breathe out, unpleasant feelings? Sometimes the feelings we have are not pleasant. Just notice those feelings, whichever they are, breathe in. And simply notice how it makes your body feel. Breathe out. Sometimes unpleasant feelings are feelings we don't want to think about. We want to ignore. So as you breathe in, instead, open up your heart and allow those feelings to come in. Breathe out. Sit with those feelings one last time. Breathe in. And breathe in and breathe out. In a moment, you will hear a bell or a chime. Listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter. Close your eyes. And when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and, wit- and, and awaken to the world that is around you. Close your eyes. Just listen. And breathe. Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you are loved, where you are cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. Now, at this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. You can sit just because of the camera. I'm gonna put your... <clears throat> Use your other hand, though. There we go. No, you're good. I, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, go ahead, take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. It's so nice to have you guys join me. It's so nice to have Levi and Audrey join us. It's kind of nice that we're all doing this together because when we do it together, to borrow a character trait from last month, cooperation, when we do things together, we accomplish great things. Are you noticing that with your skin? Yeah. Audrey said that she's hot. Is that what you said? Yeah. All right. Now, don't forget, we have three expectations here at the school. Number one, show that you're respectful. You want to be respectful to others as well as to yourself. Uh, Levi, how many ears do we have? Two. Two. Audrey, how many eyes do we have? Two. So we want to use our two ears and our two eyes to pay attention to our teachers and our friends when it's their turn to talk. We really want to pay attention to what they're trying to tell us. How many mouths do we each have? One. One. And when it's time to use our precious one mouth, other kids deserve to listen to you too, and you deserve to have that respect. So Wait, now we have three because combining all of oh, us. Oh, combining us. But each of us have only one mouth. Now, guys, when, when is your and when knows? And when is your turn to talk and express yourself? I hope other people give you that respect. Now, guys, at the end of the day, we talk about this too. When you're looking yourself in the mirror, maybe when you're brushing your teeth before you're going to going to bed, guess what? You might be thinking about the day, and I hope that you're proud of the things that you've done, even if no one else saw it. That leads us to number two. Be responsible. Everyone say the word responsible. Responsible. Being responsible means knowing that our hands and our feet and our mouths and anything that we can control, we can use them in hurtful ways. But should we use them in hurtful ways? No. No. Our hands can be used in what instead? Helpful ways, right? What are some things that our hands can do that are helpful? Pick up things. Picking up things? What do you uh, think? Helping people up. Helping people up. And boys and girls, I know that you guys can think of some great things. Now, guys, same thing with our mouth. The words that we use can be hurtful. I know that we've all sometimes heard words that are hurtful. But instead of using hurtful words, Levi, we can use helpful words. What are some words that we our mouths can use that are helpful to others? Thank you. Oh, yeah. Saying your pleases and thank You're yous. Welcome. 
You're welcome. Yeah. Um, you, you know what? When someone says, you did a great job. How does that make you feel, Levi? Good. Yeah, great. Or if someone says, Audrey, you're so smart. How does that make you feel? Good. So those words are also helpful. Now, everyone touch your head. Our brain is in charge of making our hands and our feet and our mouths do hurtful or helpful things. So if our brains are thinking about helpful and happy and encouraging things, Levi, guess what? You're going to end up acting that way. That leads us to our third, being ready. Ready to learn and ready to fail. Guys, when you fail and you don't do a good job on something you've been trying so hard to do, how does that make you feel? Sad. 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 But boys and girls, I'm telling you, you don't have to be sad. Sometimes if you don't do a good job, it's okay to everyone brush brush off the dust off of your, your arms. It's, say, it's okay. It's okay. We're going to try again. Okay? And I know it can sometimes be frustrating. Sometimes you can tell yourself you're frustrated, but try again. That leads us to our character trait, which is perseverance. Everyone say the word perseverance. Perseverance. Okay. Perseverance just means don't give up. Levi, are there some things that you do that where you just don't give up? Yeah. Audrey, how about you? Yeah. Guys, sometimes we might do a great job on our first try. Sometimes we might have to try 10 times or 100 times. Yeah. All right. Let's sit up. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to hear this from me. I love you just the way you are. Just the way you are. Okay. Hey, can you guys tell our boys and girls that you love them too just the way they are? I love you just the way you are. I love you just, just the way you are. How does it make you feel, boys and girls? It feels good, doesn't it? So I want you guys to go find some other friends, uh, your brothers and sisters, your classmates, your teachers, and I want you to go and sneak up to them and tap them on the shoulder and say, I like you just the way you are. Now, be respectful. If it's not the right time to talk, yeah. don't do that. But, you know, I'm sure you're going to find time throughout the day to do it. Okay? So I can't wait to see you guys around. I love you guys just the way you are, how special you are, how you're growing. And I can't wait to see you guys around. Have an amazing day. Go ahead and wave. Bye. Bye. I want to say have a great day. Have a great day.